they they took me in on on state charges of criminal simulation over sixty thousand. Um, and you know, I think it took like two and a half, three months for the the feds to finally compile all their evidence because they went and got a warrant to go through the computer. You know, I mean, get all the the evidence they needed, and then they served me an indictment uh, about mm. two and a half, three months later. Wow. So you were sitting in like a just like a state prison before no, at, that. Like, at first, it was just Knox County Jail. You were just in a jail, just like the yeah. local jail, yeah, for months. And then the when the feds got involved, then what happened? Like, did what change once the once the FBI got involved? Well, it's it's a secret service. Oh, it's um, a secret they, service. They handle like Forgot financial about, crimes. They handle, and, and handle the money shit, right? Um, but yeah, basically, they took me to <clears throat> to court one day. And my public defender was like, you know, they're they're dropping their charges on you, <laughs> but I because I knew the state or the feds were gonna pick them up. You know, what I mean, if the mm. state drops them, it's mm. so basically they you know went to court. The state dropped all charges, and then they walked me across the street to the federal marshal building, and they served me the indictment for the conspiracy. At first, it was a five count indictment for uh, let's see, it was conspiracy to counterfeit U.S. obligations. Uh, like a couple counts of uttering U.S. obligations. Um, and I think it was like sale and manufacture of counterfeit U.S. Uh, obligations. Mm. So, that, you know, eventually I pled to just one count of the conspiracy to counterfeit. Because they'd all, they'd all run, you know, concurrent anyway. So they basically just give you the biggest charge and, right. you know, drop the other ones. But So what did they charge you with? They charged you, they gave you one charge, and how long did they sentence you? Well, for. originally, uh, in the feds, it's like a, it's a range, you know what I mean? Right. You, you get like, you know, 12 to 18 months or, <clears> you know, <throat> so it's like, um, originally I was looking at, it was like three years about give or take. Um, so they, they came to me with this deal and said, uh, if you can, uh, you know, plead guilty and show us how you made these bills, make a make a video to train future agents um you know basically just to explain all the evidence what it was how i learned about it you know all that um and and make a training video for future secret service agents then they would not charge my wife and keep the restitution amount under a hundred thousand dollars because that's an enhancement so once it, once it was once you make more than $100,000, you get more time. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's mm. like an enhancement in the feds. So <clears throat> they basically said, they were like, at this point, we found $380,000 in Knoxville. We're still finding about ten grand a week coming in through the bank. So they were like, if you plead guilty now, we'll keep it at under $100,000 um, and not charge your wife. So basically, I made like a, a video. They f flew a film crew down <laughs> to Knoxville and like filmed me making bills <laughs> really in the secret service headquarters really yeah. what was that like so you were uh, imprisoned while you had to film this right like you were still doing your time no no this was they oh. actually well they let me out on pretrial release for uh some months before i was sentenced okay. and that's when i did all that so the secret service flew a film crew down to mm -hmm. your house to the secret service headquarters oh, the secret in service downtown headquarters. knoxville you met them there yeah did you like, how did you, did they, did you have to give them like a list of equipment and shit or like, how did that work? Um, basically they just <clears throat> went through and asked me like exactly, you know, what certain chemicals were, why I had certain things, what did I, you know, use them for? How did I find out that I could use them for, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, cause I had, I would always experiment with stuff trying to make the bills better. You know what I mean? So I had like the, the that makeup right the, that i made the color shifting pigment out of there was one kind that was the best but i had like a bunch of other ones because i'd experiment and i was uh working on doing the new blue notes as well and that's got a different color shift uh mm -hmm. so i had stuff to match that color shifting I, a certain type of nail polish mixed in with a, a color shifting pigment i got online if you mix them together it makes a perfect copper to gold mm -hmm. like on the new hundreds um, so there was stuff like that. And, uh, like I found a, uh, it's like a fine tip ballpoint glue pen. So it, it, it's like a regular Bic pen, except it pushes out glue instead of ink. Hmm. 
So, like, some people, to test if a bill's real, they'll scratch the shirt, is what they say, which means you feel the texture. You know, you kind of run your fingernail along his, his T-shirt on the portrait of the president right. to, to feel the texture. So I've, I ran across a couple cashiers that would do that. Um, so I, I had this little glue pen that I'd draw little lines on real quick to give this rigid texture on mm. the shirt. Just weird, like little things like that that they've never, the Secret Service hasn't seen before or, or was wondering why I had, you know, this these pens or this, you know, this or that, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I basically took my my computer, you know, printed a, a couple bills, glued them, sprayed the lacquer, you know, explained what I was doing. And, uh, you know, they counted that as, as cooperation to, to give me from three years. It got knocked down to 10 months. Wow. Yeah. 10 months. Mm-hmm. It seems like, I mean, obviously it's a long fucking time, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that long for all the shit that you were doing. Um, I mean, no, it's, <laughs> it, it was definitely a, a blessing, you know, because yeah. I, I, there was drug dealers that I, I met in multiple ones that I would, they'd find out the bills were fake after I was ripping them off or whatever. And I'd, I'd offer to sell them, sell them the bills. And they'd be like, no, I don't want to fuck with that. You know what I mean? That's serious shit. And it's like, there are people, you know, trafficking kilos of heroin with guns on them and stuff, and they're mm. <laughs> they're worried about kind right. of the bills, you know. Right, I mean? you weren't so, doing anything violent, so no, yeah. So I mean, the the time for I mean, it's it's a white collar crime, so most mm. most white collar crimes don't look at, at nearly as much time as drugs and guns. They don't they don't like drugs and guns. So how long did the process take for you to film that training video for the Secret Service? Uh, it was probably like two. Two hours. Two hours. Three hours. And how many bills did you make for them? Oh, uh, just two. Just two. Mm-hmm. I didn't know at the time. My my lawyer was pregnant at the time. I felt bad after the fact because I was showing him everything, and then I take this lacquer spray can <laughs> and I start spraying it, and she was like, "Oh, I gotta leave the room," and like ran out, and I didn't think I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it smells," you know what I mean? But uh, later I found out that she was pregnant, so I felt bad about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. But she is all good with it. Oh my god, that's so wild. So what? What? Uh, so you only did ten months. Mm-hmm. What was the ten months like? Um, was it a low, low security? Yeah. Well, it was. It was a, a administrative mm. facility, which like is, a camp. No, it wasn't a camp. It was a. It's a low security, basically. There's camps, lows, you know, mm-hmm. uh, medium and highs. But uh, I went. Uh, I was in, I got sentenced and I had to sit in Knox County Jail for, you know, a couple of weeks. And then they sent me to Blunt County Jail, which is the federal holding facility for East Tennessee. Sat there for like a month. Um, then they shipped me to uh, London, Kentucky. Uh, Laurel County is like another federal holding facility. It's just kind of a holdover until they get you to the, the compound. Um, and then they sent me to FMC Lexington. Which is like I said, it's it's an administrative low, so it it houses low, medium, and highs, mm. but it's essentially a low low security, um, and you know, wasn't bad. Shot some pool, you know, worked out a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah. What kind of guys did you meet in there? Uh, Matt Cox type people? No, not surprisingly not. I no? was I was one of the few. There was a couple guys that uh. Did what well, one dude was doing credit card fraud, I think. Okay, uh, he was like he owned a company and <clears throat> was like basically like overcharging people who you know gave him his credit card, like bought a product from him, and then he'd like overcharge them and then refund them. And he had some kind of scam to where he right. made it made out on top. 